Hi and welcome back to the Jurassic Jungle, the renovation and extension of a Dorset bungalow. Sorry it's been a few weeks since I did my last update, shortly before Christmas. Um, as I told you then, you know, we'd recently uh, parted with the services of the builder and we're continuing forward uh, on our own. So we've been so busy over the last uh, few weeks trying to, to get things ready so that we can get back into the house. Uh, We've spent the winter uh, and, and are still in a caravan in the garden, um, but thankfully have a functioning um, bathroom in the house, so that's not, uh, not too bad. So we've been uh, really busy the last few weeks, as I say, a lot of help from my brother-in-law, um, trying to get boarding, uh, trying to get first fix. So I've got um, not quite finished all of that yet. A lot of cabling gone in for um, home automation system, automatic blinds, um, we finished the pretty much finished the mechanical ventilation heat recovery system that you can see up in the roof behind me um, and boarded four of the rooms so this week was a, a fantastic week we've actually had plasterers in um, who've plastered four of those rooms so once those have uh, have dried out we'll be getting those um, painted and get some doors on and hopefully we can move back into the property um, one of the areas that we have still got a bit of a challenge is in this room i think i mentioned previously um, some challenges that we had with the, uh, the way that the insulation had been installed um, and you know one of the things that I've been looking at all the way through this build is how do we make it as um, economical as possible and ensure that we uh, have a warm comfortable environment with our air source heat pump. Um, so we spent a, a lot on insulation uh, but weren't happy with the detailing and the way that had been installed and in particular in this room um, and I saw a great video from uh, somebody else this week as who's a specialist in this area who described, you know, you, you can spend as much money as you like on insulation, but if it's not installed properly, it's like buying a 14 top duvet and suspending it six, inch, six inches over your bed, right? It's not, it's not going to work. So that's um, something that we um, uh, need to tackle. Um, so let's take a, a tour of the house. I'll show you where we've got to. Um, I'll be doing a number of videos over the next two or three weeks, hopefully looking at the first fix for all our electrical work and the locks on home automation system, um, the installation of insulation in the roof, uh, installation of uh, the MVHR uh, system as well. So lots and lots going on. Thank you so much for all of you that have uh, subscribed to the channel. We're at 320 or something now and some great feedback from people and conversations that have sparked up as well. Um, I was even interviewed by a student uh, from the Reading University this week who's uh, doing a dissertation and wanted to discuss how um, building regulations and particularly part L around insulation is improving or not improving the way that properties are, are, are built. Um, so that, that was quite an interesting conversation with him. So, you know, thanks again for all of your feedback. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and click like um, on this video. So let's go and take a tour. So we uh, start off in the, uh, the hallway. We've got, we've got our nice door, so we're sort of semi airtight in here. Um, so this is a nice um, spacious hallway with a vaulted ceiling. Um, plenty of room for a Christmas tree <laughs> now that we know we're hopefully back in for uh, for next Christmas even if we weren't this year um, so as we, we go through some of you have seen this before uh, we come down we got my um, uh, garage and man cave off to the left um, first room that's been plastered is our uh, utility room and gym um, so nice job done with the plastering you'll see there aren't many holes for um, utilities and things yet we've got the mechanical ventilation extractor uh, up in the ceiling here uh, and i've used these um, beadmaster sockets so you can see vaguely there in in the wall where a socket is this has got a thin plastic sheet so once this is fully dried i'll cut those out so sockets in here for a, like a kitchen worktop on that side um, and the same in the ceiling although you might not be able to see them uh, we've got space for eight uh, spotlights all pre-wired and with those beadmaster units installed um, we've actually gone for dot and dab. The plan here was to render these walls. You can see from the patches that uh, we've, we've gone dot and dab and that was um, uh, partly cost and partly time um, to, to get that completed. We may still render in the, in the main uh, room. Um, so next room along thankfully is, uh, is my home office. So really pleased to have that and we'll have that up and running shortly. So again, uh, mechanical ventilation, heat recovery uh, in that room and there'll be present sensors and spotlights uh, going in there once we've painted the ceiling next week. 
Um, not much happened in what will be the master bedroom. This is, as you can see, currently our laundry room in my home office. Um, so this is a, a nice room with French doors out onto the uh, what will be a deck rather than a, a pile of mud later on. Um, and a walk-in wardrobe and ensuite shower, which we'll be moving on to next. So back out into the hallway. Um, and we go through into the main part of the house, so a, a smaller hallway down through here um, into the uh, second bedroom. Uh, so this bedroom is the one that we have, we've got our um, ensuite shower all finished in there. Um, nice, nice room here. Uh, we've wired um, all, all of the windows for uh, electric blinds, so although you can't really see it, we've got uh, access panel up here with those bead masters and then a hole for the power cable for the uh, automatic blinds to go in the corner there. So lovely spacious room, really quite pleased with that. As you see, we've been busy with plasterboarding um, and come back round into the into the main room. So we've got hatches to go on here to cover the air source, also underfloor heating uh, manifolds. And this is the location of what will be the uh, home automation system. So at the moment you can see got quite a lot of wiring in here already um, I've, I've just connected a few of those up to a temporary switch to give us some lighting and we're gonna have multi-room audio as well so just starting to put the speaker cables in I think we'll have something like five or six different uh, music zones uh, in the house um, and then going through into here what will be the bathroom with a uh, bath in there later just in that for material store at the moment and our third bedroom so um, this was one of the original rooms, so we've just re-skimmed uh, the walls, uh, chased new cables in. Um, and these are the control cables for the Loxon home automation system. So those are effectively computer network connections from the light switch, which will also control the audio system and the blinds. Um, and the uh, last part that we look at here is our large open plan um, living room and kitchen space. Um, we've fixed some of the issues that we had with the, the windows up at the top there, but there's some work to do here, certainly on the insulation that I'll cover in more detail. We're actually going to be taking all of this roof insulation out and refitting it with a product called Gapo Tape um, to ensure that that's performing well. But uh, I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, and you can see up in the ceiling there, we've got the uh, mechanical ventilation heat recovery. Um, so that unit sucks all of the warm moist air from bathrooms, kitchens, etc. Uh, brings fresh filtered air in from outside and has a heat exchanger so it takes that heat from the house, warms up the incoming air and blows that back into all of the living spaces. So you can see in this room here we'll have a vent either side uh, blowing air back in, there'll be an extractor um, in the kitchen space. So I'll do a separate video again on that. Um, we've installed pretty much all of the piping and Alison did a great job um, up there insulating so you can see the foil uh, insulation around all of the uh, large steel pipework. Um, Alison's much better at wrapping Christmas presents than me so we, uh, we we sent her up in the in the roof for a couple of days uh, to wrap all of that up so you know uh, hopefully that's uh, given you a, a quick tour of where we're at. Um, our kitchen manufacturer started assembling our kitchen this week so we need to get the back wall in here plastered. There's a full row of cabinets along the back and then a nice long island uh, with bar stools and things against it um, with the seating space here in the in the middle of the room. Um, we're going to put a media wall uh, <coughs> over on, on that side of the room. I'll cover the technology I'm using with that and um, some fantastic speakers that uh, that I've acquired, but uh, waiting till the house is a little bit more finished before we uh, collect those and, and get them set up. So thank you so much again to all of you that have subscribed. I hope you're enjoying seeing what we're doing on the project. Um, and I'll, as I say, I'll have videos coming back uh, much quicker over the next few weeks, looking at a number of the things that I've covered here in much more detail. Thank you much. Thank you very much and goodbye.